Hello everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about PCI Requirement 6.1.2, which is about roles and responsibilities for performing activities in Requirement 6. So one of the key tenets of 6.1.2 is making sure that roles and responsibilities are documented and making sure that personnel understand the roles and responsibilities. So that kind of comes into two different parts. So let's talk about the documentation first. So if you have something like a RACI matrix or some other document that's going to say this person is responsible for this process or they are the, the owner of this part of the um, responsibility, um, it's gonna help each of the individuals inside of your organization understand what they need to do to complete the assigned tasks. Now, the second part of this comes into making sure that people understand their roles and responsibilities. One thing an organization can do to do that is to make sure that people acknowledge that what the roles and responsibilities are. Um, and it's also important to make sure that if the roles and responsibilities change, we're updating the documentation and we're also updating the acknowledgements because we as auditors, as we come into your organization, we're gonna be looking at those documents and saying, okay, does person X understand what they're supposed to do? And have they acknowledged and said, yes, um, we understand how to do this. Do they, does their um, understanding match what's in the documentation that you have on file as well? So we're gonna be comparing those to make sure that the roles and responsibilities are documented and that personnel um, understand Understand what their responsibilities are. Now, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to our experts at Kirkpatrick Price.